Yes, of course. Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to show you guys my iOS 14 to give you guys some inspo or just show you guys what I did because why not? And I'm really excited to show you guys because I literally spent a whole day on this. So when I first got this update, I literally did absolutely nothing with my phone. I kept it the exact same, no changes. But then when I opened TikTok, <laughs> when I opened TikTok, literally my whole FYP filled with iOS 14 things. And I'm just like, you can do this with iOS 14. And that is when I started looking for inspiration. The specific thing that I did with my phone, one of my friends actually showed me and I like modified it a bit to make it fit my aesthetic. And it literally took forever to do, literally like I'm not even joking, it probably took like two days um, because it was just so complicated. But it was definitely worth it, I completely understand everything now. But like for a beginner, it's like so complicated, um, but it turns out really cute. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what is on my iOS 14 and you guys can just use this as inspiration for yours or just to see my phone. <laughs> also guys, I will give a little tutorial at the end, so if you guys do want to try this out, you can just watch the tutorial. Okay you guys, so I'm just going to put the screen recording here and this here is my home screen. Um, this is what I use to like um, get to all my apps and everything. And the reason I made this is because it's just like more practical for me to um, you know go to apps otherwise if it's like in my widgets and stuff it's kind of complicated because I need to like swipe and things like that. So that's why I just made this. Um, just in case if I really need to get to an app quickly. So this screen is basically just for practical purposes. And yeah, if you can't tell, it is in rainbow theme. So we have red at the top, yellow, blue, green, purple slash blue, and then black and gray. And at the very bottom, I just have some black apps to fit all the aesthetic throughout my phone. And the reason why this is rainbow themed is because all my widgets and everything is rainbow themed. Um, so yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pages of widgets, aka literally just aesthetic, literally. I don't even use this, it's only for the aesthetic. So if you swipe, I have my first page. So this is completely pink. It's super duper cute. So um, as you guys can see my apps, the icons are different as you can obviously see. Um, and I changed it in order to fit the pink theme. I do actually use the pink widgets because it is the first page. So the one at the top is a medium one and you can like scroll it to get the time which is really cool. So I have like my photo and then you can just scroll and get the time. So if I like want to get the time really quick, I can just scroll. And in my pink widget here, I have the date. Um, I definitely use these a lot if I just want to get the date or time really quick. It's super duper easy just to swipe. And I also have like other pink aesthetic pictures if I just want to change it up. And um, yeah, so that's the pink page. My next page is this one. So this page is in the theme blue and it's the same layout as the pink one, exact same layout, just different color and different apps. Um, and these apps I haven't made shortcuts for, they're just like blue apps that I actually use. So that's why I put them here. Again, I have the same scrolling thing with this if I just want to change the picture. The next one is in the color purple. I absolutely love this one. And this is a different layout because I don't really have that many purple apps. And again, for the widgets, I have scrolling thing if I want to change the picture. And for the large one, I have a whole calendar. And I do actually use this a lot because 
on my first page i don't have calendar so if i need to like see the dates or something i can just scroll and then go to this where i have all my dates so yeah that is that next one is red um again same thing as the purple not as many apps and i have the scrolling thing again um and yeah the next page is in the color yellow and for this i have a few shortcuts because i didn't really have that many yellow apps um again i have the scrolling thing for the pictures really cool and my final page is in the color green this is the last page and then i have my app library obviously um so yeah that is all my pages super duper aesthetic i absolutely love this it's super duper cute so yeah that is basically my whole ios 14 um i absolutely love it it's so cute also my background is just a white aesthetic background that's literally all i switched up so yeah that is basically my whole ios 14 and now i'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how i did this so yeah Okay, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to be doing hot pink. So here is my empty page here. I've just put like a random app here because I need to do that to get a new page. Um, so first layout I'm going to be doing is this layout right here. Um, this is my favorite layout uh, because you can put more apps in it. And for the ones where I didn't have many apps in that color I just did this layout so the first thing you want to do is number one pick your theme slash aesthetic so pick like your color scheme what kind of aesthetic you want to do my aesthetic is like a mix it's like pastel with neon but I guess it kind of goes together I don't really know but yeah so pick your aesthetic pick your theme and then pick your layout so these are the two options for the layout I've done um, pretty simple and easy layouts number three make your widgets so to make your widgets I'm just going to Pinterest and my color scheme that I'm doing is hot pink uh, because my friend recommended that to me so I guess we're doing that um, so I'm just gonna search up hot pink aesthetic so as you can see a bunch of hot pink things came up so the first widget I'm going to be doing is the medium one which is kind of like landscape okay so I found this photo I think it's pretty cute so I'm going to download it and just to make this even more like vibrant because that's what I'm going for I'm just going to quickly edit it in Lightroom and now it is time to make it into a widget so the app you'll need to make this is called widgetsmith and this is what it is um, as you can see i have all of my widgets here that are on my phone um and yeah um when i first uh downloaded this app and tried using it it didn't work at all like it would just come up with a gray block and obviously i didn't want that so I just deleted it and re-downloaded it and then it worked. So if that does happen to you, just delete it, re-download it and try again. So the first size we're doing is medium widget. So I'm just going to press add medium widget, press that and press it again and then scroll until you find photo and then you can just press photo and press selected photo and then press choose photo. And then as you can see I've got my photo right there and then you can rename it if you want I'm just gonna name it medium hot pink and then save it save and just in case just press it again save it again um, just so it doesn't like delete or something and then you can hold the screen press the add button and search up widget smith and then go to the size widget you made press add widget and it should come up like this then you hold the widget you press edit widget and then you choose which widget you want to do so i named it medium hot pink 
across that and it should come up like this so yeah it's pretty simple so now i'm going to make the two small widgets so again i'm just going to go to pinterest and get two small pictures to put in my home screen Okay, so we've got all the widgets we need and now you can just edit the widgets around in order to like fit your layout. Okay, so now to stack the widgets so you can like scroll to different images, what you do is you just go to Widgetsmith and make um, the widgets that you want to stack. So I'm just going to get another photo. Okay, so once you've made all your widgets that you want to stack, you just add all of your widgets to the screen. Okay, so now that I've got all the widgets that I want, you tap the home screen, and it's really simple to stack widgets. All you do is you just drag them on top of another widget, let go, and now you've stacked it. You can scroll now. Pretty simple, not that hard. And if you want to get other things, not only photos, there are so many other options in Widgetsmith, as you can see. So that is the widgets all done, and now it's time to move on to the shortcuts. So basically what shortcuts are, it's basically changing the icon of an app. So what you need to go onto is an app called Shortcuts. This is actually an Apple app, so you wouldn't really need to download it unless you deleted it. Um, but yeah, it's just called Shortcuts. You press this Add button at the top right corner, and then you press Add Action, and put in Open App, and then this should come up, and then you just press that. Then you press Choose, and choose the app you want the shortcut to go to. So I'm just going to do Pinterest, and then you press the three dots again on the top right corner. Then you press add to home screen and then you put the name that you actually want to come up on the app. So I'm putting Pinterest. And then you press the icon and then press choose photo. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of hot pink photos um, and I'm just going to choose this one for example and you can move it um, to how big you want the icon to be then you just press choose and then you press add and it's been added to home screen so as you can see I've got this shortcut here that goes to my Pinterest so it is actually pretty easy not that complicated so yeah guys that was my iOS 14 slash tutorial um, I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And also comment any video suggestions down below. Um, as I said in my last video, I will be getting to your guys' video suggestions. Don't worry, I will definitely do them. And time for shout outs. Um, shout out to one of my friends. Um, she wanted a shout out. Uh, if you guys want to shout out, you can just comment it down below and I'll give you one in my next video. So yeah, that was it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay.